may have gone a little ham with the eggs this week. Uh, we got another 1145 eggs in here. Got a lot of stuff going on. Kind of trying to prep for tonight's stream. We've got Ankylo eggs. And what is this? What is this? Stego eggs? Oh, yeah. Getting some Stego mutations. We got some Therizinosaurus eggs in there as well. I should probably maybe start breeding up some Pteranodon as well. That's not a bad idea. Sable Wandering. I actually really like the Therizinosaur. And I would like to get one fully mutated and imprinted as well because I, I quite like them actually they do a bit of damage they're fast and you can get black pearls like from harvesting the stupid little things on the beach which is amazing and speaking of black pearls mentioned in a stream previously that I wanted to make a motorboat taming pen and ladies and gentlemen that is what we're going to do today because I finally gathered up enough black pearls to freaking make one so uh, I believe I actually have enough metal as well. Been crafting up metal for a couple days now, and I believe I've got 1,200. Uh, maybe not. Okay, let me see. Uh, what else could... You know what? The game's pull... Or this pulling thing hasn't been working correctly lately. I'm pretty sure I've got enough metal ingots. Like, I've been harvesting metal for days, although I've been using it. Okay, see? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Right, then we need wood as well. Which I know... Oh, I'm missing wood. Okay. So that's not too bad. What else do we need in here? We need fiber. What do you need m wood for? This is like a motorboat. Made out of metal. I don't know. We need wooden hide and fiber. Okay, so that's not too bad. But thank you all for joining me for another episode of Vanilla Ark Survival Evolved. Or Vanilla with Sprinkles. Whatever the hell you want to call it. we got a lot of stuff going on. For those of you that don't know, I've started my sponsor wall, which every time we stream, if I get a new sponsor, then I'll be adding them to the sponsor wall. And if I don't get to add them during the stream, I'll add them afterwards, obviously. So thank you to all of my sponsors and all of my patrons. I'm going to make the patron uh, monument here soon as well. I want to, I don't know if I want to handwrite everything or if I want to make pictures or something like that. I feel like something's got to be a little bit different for the patron one because uh, the patron monument tier is a little bit. Uh, more expensive than the uh, YouTube stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyways, I need hide, which I don't know why it says I'm low on hide. Okay, there we go. We got like all the hide in the world. Now, I could have swore. Oh, I know where all my wood went. That's exactly what happened. Okay, so I used all my wood <laughs> in the um, in the actual forge the other day, and I just left it on when I logged off to get all the metal. So anyways, we need to get some... We're going to take our beaver out here. We're going to get some wood. I also want to tame another beaver soon. We need a fully mutated beaver, don't we? Anyways, I'm just going to gather up the rest of the stuff for this motorboat. Victory is ours. So, we can craft up this motorboat. And I just want to see how big it is in relation to a normal um, boat before I actually make anything else up for it. Because uh, if it's bigger than a regular raft and I can place more items on it, then the way I'm going to make this taming boat is going to be a little bit different than what I would usually do. So let's go out over here. Make sure I actually place it in. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully this will still work here. Um, that's not good. So fuel, 0%. Okay, it does look like it's actually floating. Oh, I see. It's actually on wooden logs. So it does look like it's about the same size as a regular raft. Okay. So that's some good information to have. Now we just need some good old-fashioned gasoline. And hopefully it's not stuck. I thought... I forgot that the boats just drop. Like, there's no placement for them. They just drop. Just gone. All right. So I need to turn off that. We'll grab... I need to make more oil. Oh, man. Got to go out and get me some oil. Gots to love when the notifications are on. Anyways, we got our gasoline. Definitely need to make up some more here soon. Uh, we got 33. Fuel zero. Turn on. There we go. Let's make sure we can actually drive it. Okay, good. Very good. Oh, this is so much faster than flying on a Quetzal. Oh, my God. This is going to be the best taming boat ever. I'm super excited right now. So... I pretty much know how I'm going to build this because it is the same size as a normal raft. So I'm pretty much... I'm just going to park it over here. Please don't get beached. Just relax. We're going to park it in the water. 
And I'm going to go ahead and craft up a bunch of metal stuff. And we'll be back. All right, we are ready to go. So there's a few things that I want to show you first. Now, I want to lower the actual foundations on this build. So this is a really cool trick, and you have to use vanilla structures for this. I, I tried it with S+, Plus. it doesn't work. Maybe it does if you spend enough time, but it does definitely work with vanilla structures. So keep this in mind if you want to build a cool boat. A bolt <laughs> a boat we're gonna go ahead and show you now so what you need to do is when you're on your raft you want to take out a pillar now you're gonna to want to use thatch and wood for this just because it's gonna be a lot easier so just go ahead and take out a pillar and we are using vanilla structures for this and then you're just going to go ahead and ride the boat and then you're gonna to want to place the pillar you're not gonna to want to move if it glitches now it seems to be glitching a little bit on the uh, the motorboat so then just drag it in just a little bit Make sure you still stay centered, and then you should still be able to place it like that. It does look pretty darn close to center. Now what you're going to do is you're going to snap a foundation uh, like this. See, S Plus doesn't snap like this, so you have a little bit of an issue. So we're just going to go ahead and snap that. And then you're going to have to demolish this pillar, but since we have S Plus, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up so I don't waste resources. And then you just place a pillar here. Now, every time you snap another one, it's the foundation is going to snap lower. So you're just going to want to repeat this process pretty much over and over until you get the foundation down to where you want it to. So you're going to snap the pillar, and then you're going to get down one lower again. And we're just going to repeat this process over and over and over until we get down to where we want. And this is why you just want to use thatch and wood pillars for it, because... Oh, I messed up. There we go. Because you're just going to... You're going to waste materials if you use anything else. Now, I think I want it maybe one more. You know what? Actually, I think that is um, that's a good spot for it right there. So we'll just go ahead and leave it here. Let's go ahead and demolish this wood pillar. We're not going to use it anymore. And now we can get into the actual build. Yay! So let's go ahead and grab these. And we'll start off with the foundations. So going to go ahead and place our foundations. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now, let's see, I can't, yep, I can't put a foundation off of that. So we're gonna use foundations and ceilings. We're gonna use the foundations all the way across for this. And then basically everywhere we can't put foundations, we're gonna go ahead and put a ceiling. So pretty much we're gonna use nine foundations so far. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our ceilings, which we might need to actually make a couple more ceilings now that I'm looking at it. Ugh. Okay, we're going to need some ramps too, which I've already got. Eh. Game, let me up. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now we should be able to build, I believe, two back and still be able to actually put a, a ceiling on. And we can do two this way. I just want to verify that we can actually put a wall on that. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes it'll only let you do... All right, there we go. Perfect. We can still put walls on here so you can do two out from the foundation on each side and then now if you do it this way you can't put any you can't do another wall ceiling here and actually place a wall on it unless they've changed it oh we can well fancy that you used to not be able to do it so anyways okay we're gonna go ahead and sealing all of this in now so i gotta get a couple more ceilings this is gonna be a little bit bigger than i anticipated but we should be good to go. So I'm just basically going to put ceilings all the way across, going down through here, and we'll be good to go. So I've got half of this built, and I just wanted to show you guys exactly what the first half is, and then we'll go ahead and go through and build it. So let me just go... I, I can't back it up. <laughs> anyway, so we've got two... It's going to be a total of four taming areas on this one boat. Now, you can build this all out of stone. You don't have to build it out of metal. I'm just building it out of metal because I can... And I want to. So now, these big ones, you can tame anything all the way up to a T-Rex in here. So you can't tame a Giga, but pretty much literally everything. I think you can even tame a Bronto in here. So the goal is when you actually are getting ready to tame something, you drive it up to the beach, and then you just basically lead it up the ramps, and it'll fall into this little pen, and then you tame it. Pretty self-explanatory and very easy. So I'll show you exactly how we built it. So now this whole platform thing is obviously as many foundations as you can put into the center. I opened this up so we can actually drive the boat because apparently you can't any longer when uh, there's a foundation there. So I took it out. Probably would have worked if I lowered the foundation one more, but it didn't. 
Anyway, so uh, this is a total of one, two, three, four, five foundations wide by... Oh, God, I fell. <laughs> uh, one... Two, ah, geez. You know, I can't see perfectly, so let's just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven foundations long. And it's a pretty good size. Obviously, we've got a smaller taming pen right here. And you can tame just about anything in that as well. So let's go ahead and build it real quick. Now, I've used these doors so you can shoot the dinos from it. I've built this before with something on top. But when you're taming a T-Rex, they can actually bite you if you go up top. But as long as you're shooting them through the doorway, you're not going to get as many face shots. But it's fine. It still works. And uh, you, you can still get face shots because they'll stick their heads through it. And then you can just shoot them that way. But this is definitely significantly easier to tame than any other way. Oh man, taming pens are the bee's knees. And then we're also going to use this compartment here for storage and stuff. So you're gonna have everything that you need on here. You can you can put forages on here so you can be crafting stuff as you go. You can basically just have a whole mobile base in here. It's pretty nice. I love it. It's one of my favorite builds to do and I don't know why I haven't done one in a while. And we're out of walls. Anyways, we're gonna build all of this three walls high. So one, two, three. Uh, three, and then we're going to put a doorway here so we can also get this done. So we can do this all the way up. Now this one's going to be one higher to try it, or two higher to try and prevent things from falling down the center. They usually don't, but just to be safe, as long as you're lead them, leading them correctly, they won't go through on either side. But I like to put that up all the way like that just to be safe. And I'm just going to go ahead and put our walls up. Now here, you can put the gate... I think we have it in the middle, yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and put a wall. And then we're going to put a wall. And then we'll do walls just like this. And these are all going to be three high. See, I freaking hate S+. Plus. It just keeps snapping at weird angles. I, I don't know why I didn't just build this with vanilla. You don't need S+, plus for this. But I craft. I'm so used to crafting S+, plus stuff that it's j I just do it. Now, this is all perfectly fine with vanilla structures. I really shouldn't have used S+. Plus. God, I hate the snapping of it. It drives me freaking crazy. I like all the little extra bits in S+, plus, but I actually really despise building with it. It drives me freaking crazy. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough venting for now. And then obviously we're going to have our three doorways in the middle. Now, just keep in mind, you can build this all with stone, and it'll work just as well. They're not going to destroy any stone. You see, you can see all the, the, weird, the weird snapping. That doesn't happen with vanilla. So I just want to let you guys know that this is just an S plus issue that I'm having. Anyways, you're going to put that gate right here. If I could just get it to cooperate. Well, that's not going to do it. It's just not going to happen. The game will not cooperate. Okay. We did it. Victory is ours. It's perfect. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Game. That was actually my fault, not the game's fault. Anyways, we're going to switch this to manual. And then we're going to do three walls high, which is perfect. And then we can go ahead and build our secondary taming enclosure back here. Which we're just going to... We're going to try it again. Oh, nailed it. I'm amazing. And then this one only has to be three walls high. Or two walls high, I'm sorry. Because you're not going to tame anything large enough to walk over two walls in here. I need one more door frame. I don't have another door frame. And then we're going to go ahead and actually... Are these walls all wonky? They are. S plus, why do you hate me so? Like, I'm good to you, you know? Like, you don't have to snap weird all the time. There's just no reason for it. Game. Okay, that was just an OCD moment. I had to be perfect. I had to have it perfect. I was not going to let it not be perfect. All right, then we're just going to build ramps like so. And we're good. Now, you can only do three ramps down. So um, to be able to do four ramps down and just have it actually flush with the ground so that you don't have to worry about any issues with the landing, you'd have to move it back uh, one more uh, basically ceiling. So it would have to be built back here and you wouldn't be able to build the secondary taming area on it. But most landing spots on most islands, there's always a little bit of a hill that you can just drive up to and it's not going to be much of an issue. Now... We're pretty much done. That's all there really is to it. We just got to fill this up with stuff that we want to keep for crafting. So you can go ahead and basically just wall this up if you so desire. And then you can put a smithy, uh, your mortar and pestle, a bed and all that stuff in here. And I'll show you all that in just a second.
All right, so we've got everything fully built. Now, you do have a choice to make, and I'll show you what that is here in a second. So we've got doors here. Uh, you can put ramps on this end just to make it easier to get up into the boat, which I think I'm going to do just because you never know when a ramp onto your boat is going to come in handy, especially if you somehow manage to fall off while in the water, then you can get back in. So always want to weigh back into your boat. Now, we can go ahead and fill up this area here with all the things that we need. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put our bed probably right here. I'm just going to put two beds back here like this. Just because I like it there. And what you need to decide is if you want to put a roof on these or not. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a ladder here so that I can walk up and tame the things on this side. And I'm going to leave the roof open here because if it leans its head over this way, I want to be able to shoot it. Now, uh, so you won't be able to really shoot through it because obviously with the wall there and the way the hitboxes now work, that sometimes when they're clipping through a structure, you can't hit them anymore. So I'm going to leave this open for when I'm taming large creatures. And I'm going to actually put a ladder here so I can climb up on top. Now, we're going to go ahead and put our forge and stuff in this area. So I'm going to put the forge here. There we go. I'm going to put a smithy here. Like this. And I'm probably just going to put our motor and mortar and pestle right next to the smithy, I guess. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it here. And this is pretty much everything that you need. You can obviously put some storage and stuff here. I still have a couple slots to be able to build. So it's a really nice build. And you can tame anything on it. Everything but a giga, pretty much. Now, if you're having trouble seeing, obviously, in first-person mode like this, it's a little bit difficult to see. But you can make it. So you can also go into K mode and then bring your camera out a little bit farther so you can see more. Now, when you're in K mode, you go in the direction you last looked. So you got to keep that in mind. So we can go into K mode, turn, or get out of K mode, turn, and then go back in. And we can see all around us and stuff. This is the way I usually like to drive. So I'll go in like this, and then we'll K mode out. And then we'll go ahead and turn. Take this to Carno Island, maybe tame up some, some freaking T-Rexes or something. But yeah, so this is pretty good. Now, what I'm going to be doing is for the live streams, I'll be taking this everywhere with me. I'll be putting my bird on the top or something like that. And then we'll pretty much use the bird to scout. And then we'll lure stuff back to our taming boat. And I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously, there's still room to put more structures on this. That's what I like about using the gates. Now, with T-Rexes, if you do plan on using T-Rexes with this build or taming T-Rexes with it, I would highly recommend using a cheaper gate than the metal gates. I would not use the metal gates because uh, a T-Rex can't fit through the gates anymore, or I don't know, but they can't fit through the dinosaur gates. So I would use stone gates, or if you're using S+, plus, you can just pick them up, and that's why I've got metal gates on here because I can just pick them up. Uh, otherwise, I would probably just recommend using wood or stone, uh, things that you don't mind losing. But this is definitely a lot easier way to tame up everything. Hope you guys all like it. Um, we got some other things going on though. So I just wanted to get the taming boat made and then we can go ahead and actually get into the rest of the video. We got tons of eggs to hatch. Got some stuff I want to do around the base to prepare for the stream where we're going to actually use this thing. So I'm pretty excited. We're going to have some fun. So I really want to paint our new uh, taming boat. Um, I'm thinking I want to paint it red and black. Which would look pretty cool. Or where did my paint? Oh, paint. Uh, so I need to make a the spray painter, which is going to make life a lot easier. So let me see if I actually learned it. I'm pretty sure I did. There we go. And, ooh, do I have the crystal? Pull. Are we missing just the polymer? Really? <laughs> oh, wait. Pull. Okay, we are missing the polymer. Okay, so polymer... I think it said we needed uh, 45 of these bad boys. Oh, my God. Um, how much can we make? We can make a lot. You know what? Let's just go ahead and make... Oh. I mean, we're not going to have enough. Okay, so we need 23 more. There we go. Okay, yeah. So now we'll have plenty. Man, I didn't expect it to take that much polymer for a freaking spray painter. God. 
Gosh darn diggity damn. Now, of course, we need more cementing paste. Am I really short one cementing paste? <laughs> oh my god. You've got to be shitting me. That is ridiculous. One measly cementing paste. Good lord. So thankfully, I've got a lot of materials. We also just finished a stream, which is awesome. So we got a couple new sponsors during the stream. We got uh, Chernobyl, Lapis Lazuli, Shy Dragon Girl, Mech Girl Car, and Millie B94. Thank you all for becoming sponsors once again during the stream. You guys are truly amazing. I say it time and time again. I really do have the best subscribers, viewers, everything, whatever you want to call everybody. Just just the best community. There we go. The best community that anyone could ever ask for on YouTube. It's There's never, barely ever any trolls. It's pretty freaking great. And you guys are amazingly supportive. Thank you so much. Couldn't do this without you all. Uh, so yeah, anyways, we got our, our spray painter. And I'll go ahead and show you some of the mutations we got during the live stream as well. Just in case you guys didn't tune in. We ended up hatching a... Oh, so we ended up actually taming two snakes with our new taming boat. Well, kind of with the new taming boat. So we got Ka and Nagiri. Which, if you guys didn't know, during the live stream, uh, I run little giveaways to name our dinos. We got a bunch of those named. We also got a whole bunch of mutations. So we hatched a buttload of Therizino eggs and Ankylosaurus eggs and got quite a few Anki mutations like this red one. We got some white spikes, uh, the blue shell here. Uh, I think we only got one body mutation or two body mutations. We got this really bright green, uh, the neon green. We got the neon green back and we also got this mint green body, which all in all looks pretty cool. We still need a couple more mutations, I think, before we start really getting to the nitty gritty of trying to get these guys fully mutated um but otherwise that's about it not too bad a good little mutation session and taming session we also had some stuff blow up which is a bit of an issue but i want to i want to paint this boat so let's see do i still have eggs in here all right you know what they don't uh, this doesn't need to be on anymore so i'll turn this off and um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and paint this up don't need that now let's see here if I want to, I want to paint the sh outside of this black. Oh, oh no. Oh, it helps if I actually turn my UI on. So I want to, oh, game. I keep forgetting how to do this. Okay, there we go. Let's hold the right trigger and then we can put all of this on to enable. No, I want to, I want to paint the gate. There we go. So the gate black. And then it might actually be too black. That's a lot of black. That's a crazy, crazy amount of black. I guess maybe not. It might not look too bad. I think I'm just going to go ahead and mess around with this a little bit. And then I'll bring you guys back. Well, it only took forever. We went with a very aggressive color scheme for this. It's red, black, and purple. Which is pretty much what I've been painting everything. It looks just like me. Except I don't exactly know how I feel about the big black gates though. I might actually be changing that. The gates, them, like the frames are black, but the gates themselves are purple, which I, I like the purple, but the red might be, a, or the black might be a little too much, I think. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But otherwise, I like it. Uh, I'm, I'm still debating actually painting the floor. Obviously, I've missed a few things. It just took, it took so freaking long. It takes so long to paint things. It's redonkulous. But now that I've painted this, I kind of want to paint our uh, kibble farm and our death shack as well. So lots and lots of painting to do. Uh, but I figured maybe we'll go ahead and do a little bit of hatching of our own instead of just hatching on the streams. So let's see here. I've got some stegos that I would like to... Well, you know what? Do we have Anki eggs still? We still do have Anki eggs. So we did so well with the Anki mutations that... I feel like we should continue that and maybe just focus on getting a fully mutated Anki because I don't want to have too many dinos just strewn across my little area because I don't have a just I don't have an abundance of room to be having like ten different things breeding up at once with you know a hundred million dinos all over the place. So, oh whoa that was that was really strange. 
camera just went all sorts of bananas. But yeah, if you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that notification icon so that you guys get notified when I go live. Now, that being said, YouTube is terrible and doesn't send out notifications anyways, but at least you're doing the best you can to, to get notified. Uh, there was a few people during the stream like, oh my god, I didn't get notified during like two hours into it. But um, you can also join my Discord, and there is a live stream feed in there, so it, it will pop up in Discord when I go live as well. So if you're not part of the Discord and you want to be notified of when I release videos and streams, definitely join because all the notifications will be pushed to Discord as well. So that being said, we need to... Maybe we'll do a little bit of a hatching, shall we? Do you think we can grab some more of these here Anki eggs? I mean, we might as well do a little bit of a hatching since this here hatchery isn't doing its job incubating anything i haven't really been able to do the hatching since they started using the incubator or that little hatchery thing because it gets the you know the fur the the whatever the hatching thing the hatching meter all the oh hello lag hello lag my old friend come to mess the recording up once again now we're back. Lag. Ooh. Well, we've already got that white. Oh, I see a red. Oh, I see cyan as well. Nice. We already sacrificed a couple things during the live stream. And it seems that we are getting some pretty good luck. We got cyan spiky bits, which looks freaking phenomenal. Pretty excited about that. We still got a bunch of eggs hatching. The white stripes we've already got. So I'm not going to bother claiming that. Let's see here. Maybe it was because we sacrificed an Anki mutation that we're getting such good Anki mutations. Because uh, <laughs> during the stream, we actually um, had twins of a mutation. Ended up sacrificing one of them to the gods. I was kind of looking for some legs and that little shell or that little scale mutation on the side. There's another red one over here. I don't know. if Is it the same one? And I just can't tell the name. I think, it, I think it is the same one. Yeah, it is. It is the same one. All right, so these guys are starting to hatch now. Get rid of the UI so we can actually see. What do we got? What do we got? We got poop green spikes. Because it's poopy and awesome. Best song ever. Waiting for the eggs to hatch. So that last batch didn't have any more Anki mutations, but we are in the midst of the last batch of Anki eggs that we have. So I'm hoping we can get maybe... Because I still haven't gotten that other shell color. Because there's two shell colors, and I've only gotten one. And I would really, really like the other one. It would make me forever indented, in, indebted to RNGesus if you would provide me one. Why is this taking so long? I thought I thought they were closer to this. Oh, it's happening! It's happening! Oh, oh, those spikes look pretty cool. I'm cool with that. Can I touch your butt? Thank you. So we got some lavender spiky bits, and it doesn't look like we got anything else. Yeah, nothing. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. All right, but all in all, pretty darn good Anki. This this cyan spikes look freaking amazeballs. So we got those cyan spikes, and then what could we mix those with? Because there is always a chance that we could get other mutations as we're breeding everything else. So we do have this blue shell. Oh, you know what? Oh, that would look good. So we got red shell on different uh, color zone. So we could mix the red and blue together, and it would mix and kind of make a purple. And then get the cyan spikes on top. And it would look it might look a little too crazy if we use the neon green. But that might be a little nutters. But we definitely have enough mutated Ankies to try and start working on a really cool fully mutated one. So I'm gonna be working on that throughout the next couple of videos. But all in all, I really enjoyed recording this episode. We got our taming boat, which is gonna make our stream significantly better. And we got a whole buttload of awesome mutations. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share support, smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.